Hi, I'm M. Lewis Gordon. I'm the writer and the director of The Girl in the Chair. The Girl in the Chair is an experimental short film. It follows a teenage girl who has been kidnapped for most of her life. Her kidnapper uh, keeps her in a decrepit bedroom of his house, tied to a chair, so she's physically unable to do anything. However, one day, she sees some movement in the room she's being kept. Dusty old toys come to life and they free her from the chair. So this girl escapes from her kidnapper's house and through the rest of the film, we follow her as she's rediscovering the outside world. But it's not the real world that you and I know. It's a surrealistic world. Something that would come from the imagination of somebody who has been kept captive for so long. My name is Adrian, and I'm the line producer for The Girl in the Chair. This film is about child kidnapping and abuse, which is not a small problem. In the US alone, 6 million cases of abused children are reported every year, and 5 die from abuse and neglect every day. With this film, we're hoping to show that these problems and child abuse cases are still a relevant thing today. Now, I mentioned before this is going to be an experimental film. We're going to incorporate elements of stop-motion animation, uh, live-action dance sequences, and the film is going to be entirely non-dialogue. I'm Erica North, and I'm one of the stop-motion animators for The Girl in the Chair. There will be two main animated sections of the film at the beginning. When, uh, when the girl is trapped in the room. So in the style of the Quay Brothers, which is one of our main influences, we are repurposing old toys and making them into stop motion armatures that can be animated. The girl in the chair presents a lot of really interesting design challenges because we're trying to create an aesthetic that's from one unified film, but uh, has a lot of really different feels and um, we go through a lot of sort of different worlds. We're also sort of working to disorient our audience a little bit and create a sort of dream logic. We're set to shoot this film in Western Connecticut in June 2013. Every dollar that you donate is going to go towards food for a cast and crew, towards renting equipment, towards all the materials we have to buy to design this kidnapper's house and buy these toys that we're going to animate. We have a lot of elements going in this and we need all the financial support we can get to make it happen. This film is being fiscally sponsored by Fractured Atlas. That means every dollar that you donate will become tax deductible. On top of that, a single donor has agreed to match up to $3,500 that you donate. If we go even further and reach our goal on Indiegogo, then our project will become fully funded and our idea completely realized. As a writer and director, this concept of entrapment and of a childhood that's been unlived or damaged, this is something that's fascinated me for a while. If it interests you at all, I hope very much that you contribute to the project and make it a reality. Thank you so much for watching.